Hey everyone, my name is Andre and I am reviewing today Uji's HK1560 and this is their 15.6 inch pen monitor and this is a critical review. Okay, let's uh, let's get started with the unboxing. And this uh, this is a new model by Uji. Uh, I have um, got some of their some of their stuff in the past, and have been wonderfully surprised by the workmanship and the craftsmanship of their pen monitors in the past. And the 1560 is uh, the new version of their um, mid-size. Uh, pen monitors. They, I believe they have um, pen monitors in three sizes, uh, 15 inch, 19 inch, and 21 inch. And so uh, this is the smallest of the trio. So as we open it up, you have, um, I believe this is the driver along with um, a thank you, along with some um, information about how to contact customer service if you need it. Okay, and the instruction booklet. Um, this looks to be a screen protector. This is the screen protector. Okay. Take this out. Um, off to the right, we have the uh, box with connectors, including the power pack, the charge cables, and HDMI. Two, two, not one, but two um, pen styluses. Uh, a USB to HB. You have a, oh, this is nice. You also have a, um, an artist glove. And that's the second half of the power pack. And as well as the pen rest. Okay, so you got almost everything that you need in here. And um, the addition of a second pen is critical. Um, the artist glove is very nice because I bought uh, this artist glove uh, from the lady who created this concept uh, about four or five years ago. And uh, I bought three or four of them, and um, they've actually come down in price. But it's nice that uh, UG supplies them. So there we go. These are the connectors, and we'll look at that in a moment. So let's finish with this unboxing. As we take out the rest of this stuff. It's a very, stick, uh, very thick styrofoam. And we'll put this here. And let's pull out the monitor here. Okay, so, oh, it's nice. So, there's actually no um, assembly required. The, uh, the stand is already pre-attached, and then you have a film that's over the uh, monitor itself. I should turn this around. And uh, let's take a look at the back. Uh, in the back, this is where the stand is, and there's a lever right here on the top. You lift that up, and the um, the legs fall out. So you lift that up, and it will fully extend. So when it fully extends, it's almost um, at a 90 degree angle, so it's fully upright. That's fully. And then you can adjust it. where it's almost flat so and here we go so you have the lever uh, on the top um, let's see where the connectors are uh, okay the connectors are actually on the right hand side and um, on the right hand side you have um, all of the connectors including the HDMI the the USB as well as the um, endpoint for the power adapter. So you have all three on the right hand side and there's nothing on the left. And this is the size. Well, this is the size. Okay, let's take a look and see how this matches up against a 15 inch um, laptop and see how big this is. Okay, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back. Um, I'm back, I should say. Okay, we've got the UG. This is a 15 inch. 15-point uh, inch diagonal 
um, pen monitor. This right here is a 15 inch laptop. And so as we can see, it's almost the same dimensions as a standard 15 inch laptop. Almost the same. So, and let's look at the thickness. That's beautiful. Barely, slightly thicker. Uh, and that's not including the back. But if we were to fully collapse that, um, we're looking at the base that's essentially almost identical to the size of a, let's see if we can see this a little bit better, to the size of a, the thickness of a laptop. This is the OG, this is the laptop. And that's identical. If we were to give it a full side view, we're maybe looking at maybe, this is another, roughly another uh, size here, so maybe if this is an inch, this is roughly, the thickness is maybe three and a half inches at the most. Okay? So you're looking roughly, if you have a 15 inch a laptop and that fits in your bag, this Uji will fit in your bag as well. Okay? It's roughly the same dimension. Okay. So let's take a look and see how the Uji uh, looks when it's fully connected. Um, let me tell you a little bit about what comes with the package. Um, you obviously have the monitor, um, you have the two rechargeable pens, uh, you have a nice artist glove, which is awesome. I have a few of those and those are always um, appreciated. Uh, and then of course you have the connecting cables, the HDMI cable, the USB, and of course the power cable and the adapter. Uh, you also have a nice pen holder and inside of the pen holder you have, um, it's a housing for actually uh, extra nips. So um, if you ever need to change a nip for whatever reason, you've got about several, eight to ten of them sitting inside. And um, of course you have a package with the instruction booklets, uh, the drivers, and uh, you also have a extra large screen protector. And uh, you're going to have to measure that out and cut it to the size of the screen. But uh, I think that's a small consequence uh, considering the benefits of having it. And uh, I do love the fact that uh, UG supplied uh, two pens with this monitor. Uh, because if you ever run out of juice, uh, you're not going to be able to use the pen um, until that pen is charged. So having a spare one is, is absolutely beneficial. Um, and that actually saves you about 20 bucks because I've um, replaced one of those um, pens before. And so that's 20 bucks right there. So anyway, for me, that's a good thing. Um, I try to give you as high of a resolution um, to show you what the screen looks like in comparison to the iMac as well as to my uh, laptop. The resolution on this 15.6 inch screen is incredibly sharp. Um, yes, it is an IPS screen, um, which I do love, um, but it is sharp and it's vibrant and it's, it's absolutely gorgeous to look at. Um, looking at the icons on the iMac, and uh, actually in comparison to it on screen, it's incredibly sharp and it's beautiful. Also the fonts, um, it's noticeably um, sharp and, and very vibrant. Um, so um, for a uh, pen monitor, um, this certainly gives you a lot. Now um, there was no issue with parallaxing or the, um, the issue with calibration. So where you put the pen on the screen is exactly um, where it will show up. Now, um, I had some older monitors uh, attached to this some time back and I had to go and delete the drivers. So if you have, um, if you ever installed a different pen monitor or a pen tablet, you may need to delete the drivers from, from uh, your system um, so that you can install the drivers for the Uji. Um, but that was nothing more than a few minutes. Uh, my recommendation is if, if you're lucky enough to have uh, more than one computer and you have a dedicated computer for your monitor, your pen monitor, uh, I would say just install that and keep the um, keep that for use with the uh, Uji so that you don't have to bother with um, un, uh, uninstalling and installing what have you. Um, in front of you I'm working with Sketchbook Pro and I'm just um, seeing how the 
uh, pen monitor reacts to um, pressure sensitivity and the features. And can I say for roughly a week or a little bit slightly less than that, um, this monitor is nothing but a joy. Um, I thought that maybe with the 27 inch iMac that this screen would be a little bit too small to test out, but it wasn't the case. Um, it is noticeably smaller, but um, there was really no um, deficit to having it. Um, I kind of like longer, bigger screens, but uh, just for testing out this, this is wonderful. Uh, I certainly am going to use this with my um, laptop, because this is definitely portable. And um, this race uh, weighs, I'm sorry, um, about seven pounds. Uh, I think it's about five or seven pounds. It's not, it's not heavy, but it's about, um, it's a little bit heavier than the laptop. But that's um, a small consequence, considering what can be done with this item. Uh, right now, the uh, this is a new model, so it's coming in at about three ninety nine. You have Black Friday. Um, my recommendation. Uh, this is definitely one of the best products of uh, 2016. Um, if you're an artist, if you've got a small company and you do graphic design, if you do video editing, if you do audio editing, this pen monitor can be used to edit those files. So it's not just for people who do illustrations or painting, because uh, I just got a copy of Corel Painter uh, 2017, and this is just phenomenal. Um, but if you are an artist in different disciplines, uh, you definitely can use the Uji for that. Um, video editing. Um, I edited the videos, um, edited the video clips that's accompanying this review from the Uji. And also, um, I edited a few audio files. And so, um, this is multi, um, this is a multi-purpose um, device. And if you're an artist, or if you have a child who's studying art, um, for $399, 400 roughly, um, it's not much more expensive than a pen tablet. And you can get so much more out of this than a pen tablet. For me, a pen tablet is, is essentially obsolete, considering that you can draw naturally on a, a, um, a device itself. Um, and you see the effects of it right there. So the eye pen um, paper connection is, is clear. And um, if you have software like Photoshop, um, Corel Draw, Corel Painter, uh, Illustrator, the great Sketchbook Pro, or even uh, some of the um, other products out there like Mischief, which is out of England, all of these, or Procreate, which is another one, um, this pen monitor will serve you well. This is one of the best, best products that you can buy if you're an artist, and uh, certainly it will save you money in the long run. One of the best products of 2016, this is Uji's 1560, 15.6 inch pen monitor.